Thanks for watching TYA Suit ERP demo video. Let's first look at overall TYA Suit ERP features before we go into individual modules. TYA Suit Cloud ERP is an all in one solution to automate, streamline, and digitalize your entire business processing. With integrated plug and play modules like procurement to pay, inventory management, finance and accounting, sales management. TYA Suit Cloud ERP can help you manage your business seamlessly. TYA Suit ERP can be accessed from anywhere, any device, anytime. TYA Suit is hosted on the world's most secure server of AWS, Amazon Web Services. With TYA Suit ERP, you can manage and restrict users' access at lowest possible level in your company. You can define your customized user roles. For example, you can restrict access at department level or location level or individual process level. You can further restrict the user's activities like add, edit, view, download, delete etc. for each screen. Users will be able to view work only on screens which they have access to. Each user will be given a unique login ID and password, and they can log in into the ERP by using the same. If your organization is a group of multiple companies and you have subscribed to our multi-entity module, you will land on this multi-company dashboard, where you can select the company you want to enter and perform activities. If you have a single company, you will directly land to your company dashboard. The dashboard as shown here is customizable based on company requirement and the user role of the employee. The cards will change based on module subscribed for and the access given to the user. Example. If you have subscribed for sales management module, this will show sales related activity. If you have subscribed procurement software, it will show procurement related pending activities and so on. TYA Suit Finance Module Accounting is most critical part of any business process. Management needs constant access to real-time accounting data for various decision-making activities. The TYA Suit Finance module helps management and accounting team get perfect control by automating accounting at each step of the business processes. Let's look at the finance and accounting process flow in TYA Suit ERP. Creation of Custom Account Master. Goods Inwarding Entry, Automated. Vendor Invoice Booking Entry, Automated. Reversal of Goods Inwarding Entry, Automated. GST and TDS Related Entry, Automated. Vendor Payment Entry, Automated. Sales Invoice Entry, Automated. Unbilled Revenue Entry for Service-Based Companies, Automated. Accrual Booking and Reversal Entry, Automated. Stock Issue to Production Entry, Automated. Manual Journal Entry. Various Financial Reports. Let's go into more detail on each process. Let's look at the Account Master creation in TYA Suit ERP. Account Master is a three-step process in TYA Suit ERP. First, Account Category, primarily used to define the structure of the profit and loss and balance sheet, as per statutory requirement or internal requirement. For Indian companies, they can select the structure as per Indian GAAP, or end, AS, as per the company reporting requirement. Example. Equity, non-current liabilities, current liabilities, non-current assets, current assets etc. are part of structural classification of balance sheet. Second. Account subcategory, this is one level below the structural classification as above. Under this, you create various groupings which shall be displayed under the headings as shown in account category. You can create unlimited numbers of groupings under each heading as per company requirements. Third. Account master. In this menu, you will create individual account codes as per your company requirements. Now let us look at how the account master creation will work in TYA Suit ERP. Click on the account master menu under master data from left side menu bar. You can also search the same from the search box on the top of the screen. And then click on the add button to add new account. You also have an option to import bulk data through Excel import. Inside the screen you can update the account as per your company policy, and then update the account name and select the subcategory under which this account shall be grouped for reporting purpose. The category will automatically get selected based on subcategory. You can also select a parent account code for the account code being created. 
you will further have an option to restrict manual journal entries for the account being created. Only allowed account code for manual journal will come for selection when you are passing manual accounting entries. As seen in the process flow in previous slides, 90% plus accounting entries in TYA suit ERP happens automatically. This feature will ensure that the accounting team doesn't pass any incorrect manual accounting entries by selecting wrong account codes. In TYA suit ERP, you will have an option to add certain mandatory details which you want to capture for certain kind of expenses in your company. For example, for all repair expenses, you would like to know the asset details of the repairs so that you will be able to track the repairs expenses at asset level. In this case while creating an account code for repair expenses, you can select the account type and based on that type, while selecting that account code for accounting entry, booking details like assets number and other details must needs to be filled. Once all informations are filled, you can save the account code for approval. Once the approver approves the account code then only it will be available for use. Now let us look at various plug and play features of TYA suit ERP finance module. Through this menu, the super admin of your company can update various automated entry restrictions for your company. For example, if as per your company policy, you don't want to pass an accounting entry when goods are awarded, but you want to pass only at the time of invoice booking, you can enable don't hit JE for GRN button on this screen. Similarly, you can enable disable various automated accounting entry for your company. Now let us look at various automated accounting entries within TYA suit ERP finance module. Let's look at various type of accounting entries through view all journal entries menu. In this demo video, we will not cover how an GRN is added or an invoice is added in TYA suit ERP. We will only see how automated accounting entry looks when sales invoice is approved or a purchase invoice is approved and so on. For details on how to add GRN or invoice, please refer our demo video on procurement to payment module. Similarly, for other process you can refer to respective module demo videos. On the view all journal entries menu, you can filter accounting entries based on source of accounting entries. Example, you can search for GRN related entries. Then all GRN related entries will come. Once you click on the entry, it will show full detail about the entry like debits, credits, approvals, etc. As you can see at the time of GRN, the account code mapped for the awarded item will be debited and GRIR liability account will be credited. GST and TDS will not be recorded at this level. Selection of the account code and the cost center is automatically done by TYA suit ERP based on item master to ensure 100% accurate accounting. All accounting entry is posted in respective cost centers and cost center related financial reports can be downloaded from TYA suit ERP. You can click on the back on list to come back to all journal entry tab. Now let's look at the vendor invoice entry. This accounting entry is posted when the invoice is approved by all approver. At this point of time, the relevant account code is debited required GST related accounts are debited and vendor account is credited. If there is any TDS, the TDS liability accounts get credited and vendor account gets debited in the same entry to ensure proper audit trial in the vendor ledger. If you had given any advance and you are deducting the advance in this invoice, the advance amount will also get adjusted and required journal entries will automatically get posted. If there is any debit note generated at the time of adding invoice for any differential amount, the same accounting entry for debit note shall also be posted automatically along with invoice booking entry. Debit note can arise due to five-way mismatch while adding an invoice. If you had opted to pass accounting entry at GRN approval stage, the same entry will auto-reverse once invoice entry is posted as above. Now let's look at vendor payment entry. This accounting entry is posted when the vendor invoice payment is approved by all approver. At this point of time, the vendor account code is debited and bank account is credited. If there is any retention amount or any other deduction form the invoice, the accounting entry for the same will be automatically recorded here. Now let's look at the accounting entry for sales invoice. In this entry, the customer account will be debited, revenue related account will be credited, and GST related accounts will be credited. As shown above, below nature of accounting entries will be automatically posted in TYA suit ERP. Accounting for goods received. 
Automated reversal entry for goods received when invoice is received. Accounting for vendor invoice. TDS accounting. GST input accounting including restricted inputs. GST, RCM liability accounting. GST, RCM input accounting. Stock consumption accounting. Production related accounting. Asset accounting. Accrued expenses for invoices being booked. Accrued expenses for previous PO being released in current month. Revenue entry. Unbilled revenue entry. Unbilled revenue reversal entry. Vendor payment entry. Customer receipt entry including TDS. With above set of automated accounting entries, TYA suit reduces more than 90% of the accounting workload from accounting team and ensure 100% accuracy in your accounting, GST, and TDS related compliances. Now let us look at the manual journal entries option in TYA suit ERP. You have an option to choose for approval based manual journal entry or non approval based manual journal entries. Click on the Finance Module menu from left side menu bar. Then click on the Add Journal Entry menu. You can also search the same from the search box on the top of the screen. You can choose a date of the journal entry. This date cannot be prior to the book closure date. Once book is closed for a particular date, you will not be able to pass any journal entry prior to that date. Admin can unlock the books to enable passing the accounting entries if required. In case you wish to reverse this entry on a future date, you can just select the date of reversal, and system will automatically take care of the reversal on the defined date. Journal entry number will automatically come. You can click on the account code and select the account code. Only account code allowed for manual journal entry will come on this screen. Then select the cost center. Update the debit credit amounts. Update the narration. You will also have an option to select the party name if required, that option can be enabled disabled through setup. You can also upload the documents workings for the account entries. You will also have an option to bulk upload accounting entries through Excel template to make the manual entry process faster. If you are passing an accounting entry related to NDASIC adjustments, the same can be identified and tracked separately for future reference. Applicable only if you are under NDAS accounting. Once all the information is completed, you can click on the save button and entry will be posted sent to approver for approving the journal entry as per company policy. You can also import the bank statement receipts to pass bulk entries for the receipts through bank import menu. You can download your bank statement and update certain information related to collections and import the Excel file and accounting entry will be posted. You can update the customer invoice number, customer code, TDS amount if and then import the bank statement. Customer invoice knockoff and accounting entry will automatically get posted. The above takes care of all accounting related matters. TYA suit finance module is also equipped with manual debit note credit note feature, where you can raise a manual debit note and credit note to your customers and vendors. Now let us look at various financial reporting within TYA suit ERP. TYA suit has inbuilt feature of multi-layer cost center approach. Depending on your business complexity, you can define up to six layers of cost center within TYA suit ERP. You will be able to download all financial reports any of the cost center level or group of cost centers, as per your requirement. Below are the key financial reports within TYA suit ERP. Trial balance. Balance sheet. Profit and loss account. Cost center level trial balance. Cost center level balance sheet. Cost Center Level Profit and Loss Account Cash Flow Statements GST 1 Report GST 3B Report TDS Payment Report TDS Return Report Vendor Balance Report and Aging Reports Customer Balance Report and Aging Reports All Kind of Customized Report Project Level Profitability Let's look at some of the benefits of the TYA Suit ERP Finance Module Complete Accounting Automation Multi-location. Multi-GST management. 100% auto TDS compliance. 100% GST compliance. Automated TDS payment report. Automated TDS return report. Cost center level financial reports. Auto reversal of accrual entries. Tractor NDS entries. Track income tax related entries. Seamless integration with TYA suit other modules. 
Thanks a lot for your time and patience in watching the demo of TYA Suit ERP Finance Module. Questions? Ask our expert if you shall have any queries or you have any unique requirements for your company, which is not covered in demo at info at tyasuit.com. If you would like to schedule person demo, please reach out to our team at the above email ID. TYA Suit is world first plug and play ERP, where you can go live in your company in just seven days. TYA Suit is affordable, scalable and flexible ERP, and all kind of customizations are possible with TYA Suit. Download detailed brochure from www.tyasuit.com.